So, Mr. Brookshire is your cousin, correct? Mm hmm We grew up together, and we both came to Atlanta for school. Do you talk often? He usually calls me in the mornings. Every day? Yes, every day. So, what did uh, you and Mr. Brookshire talk about on the morning of the uh, 14th? Let's see, he had cereal again. His bowels were softer than usual. His teeth were bugging him or something. I don't know. The usual boring, irrelevant details of his morning. Did uh, Mr. Brookshire ever say anything about his uh, roommate? I only know that he found him on roomies.com or something. Um, I know the whole process hey, was really fast. Going, he didn't do much screaming or anything. Yeah, so I've been living in here for about a year now. I'll Just take it. Great, perfect. He was really desperate. Just leave the house. So, oh, you have, what is it, uh, three classes with uh, Mr. Lyle? Uh, yeah. We go to a small school, so there aren't but so many of us in our major. And would you call Lyle um, a good student? He usually breaks the curve, you know what I mean? I've had a few classes with Lyle over the past few years, and I can't honestly remember seeing him awake in one. What happened? that day you saw him in class. We had our first two classes and he was asleep as usual and our professor canceled the last class. And how did he feel about that class being canceled? He was pretty happy about it. You were on the phone that day with uh, Mr. Lyle on the 14th, the day the incident occurred, correct? I told that boy not to let just any old character into his house. He asked for no background checks, no references, no nothing. I was telling him that on the phone that day. He don't listen to nobody. I love that boy, but if you haven't got it already, Mr. Lyle ain't got no sense. He got a sentence, two big coconuts with no water. <laughs> So, describe what you uh, heard when you walked in the condo. Well, he did what he usually does when he comes home. 